Hi, welcome to the first tutorial for Hand Painted Forest Designer. With this Unity plugin, you can create this kind of designs, random trees, bushes, uh, rocks, and pretty much anything that you require for a game for your game or project. Okay, so to get started, first you need to open up Forest Designer by going to Window and clicking on Forest Designer. Once you're done with that, you'll get this menu and from here you can create forests and backgrounds such as these. I'll just show you a demo. So here what I've created is a simple forest using Fur2D uh, for the platform and forest designer for the rest of the elements such as trees, bushes and rocks. So this is what you can create with uh, forest designer. Okay, I'm gonna start with a fresh scene. So I'm going to go to new scene, don't save. Okay, now once you've, start, once you've created a new scene and you've opened up Forest Designer, you can go to trees to create a new tree. And right now there, there's just one button and of course the season drop down. So you can create random seasons or summer or autumn. I'm going to go for summer and click on generate new tree. And if you don't like this tree design, you can click on random tree design. And just click clicking and once you like the supposing I like the structure but I don't like the leaves design then you can just click on random leaves design it's as simple as that everything is pretty much self-explanatory so and if you don't like the roots design you can just click change the roots according to the type of design you want and supposing I like this then I'm just gonna move this thing down a little bit and there's a global scale so you can scale your trees using that or you can just use your standard scale from up here in the inspector menu um, if you want a lot of trees so I'm going to show you an example I'm going to create a ton of trees here's another tree here's another one so you can create as many trees as you like you know depending on how fast you can click so these are all unique trees and right now there the all leaves are green because I've selected summer up here so suppose you can set it to random and if I delete all these trees and create a new tree and another one see some of the some of them will create the autumn leaves and if you like autumn if you want to create for autumn only then you can create just autumn autumn trees and so forth and so on okay so uh, I'm gonna delete everything here just use one tree after you have created the tree uh, what you'll notice is that uh, if you go to the 3d view everything is in modular system so everything is in its layers like supposing the trunk is, has, has a separate layer and the leaves are all separated but this will require a lot of draw calls so what you can do is once you have finalized your design you can save texture Now this saving texture will take some time depending on your computer speed and the processor and stuff like that. But once it's done, it'll combine everything into a single texture. Okay, now it's done. As you can see, the sprite has been created here. And if you go to saved images, uh, right now I've created a lot of images, so I'll just go drop, go down here. And this is the 301, this is the one. So if, as you can see, there's a sprite renderer here now and all the the whole modular system is gone and now there's a there's just one draw call and if you click here you can see that the sprite has been created so that's how it works pretty much and uh, here now you can modify it any way you want and you can of course right now the si image size is 912 by 1176 and if, if, if the image size is too large for you you can always lower it by clicking on low quality and now the image size has been reduced to 304 by 392. And remember, if you uh, if you reduce the quality of the image, then uh, another image will be created uh, with with the title LQ, HQ. And if you create medium quality, then of course, obviously MQ. So and you can easily switch between the two. And you can see the difference here. If I zoom in, right now it's in high quality, medium, and low. 
So the quality degrades, and of course, the if you're if you're if the tree is going to be of the small size, then it's preferable to use the low quality. And uh, obviously, there's there are some few effects such as grayscale. Uh, what grayscale will do is take all the elements and convert it into a single grayscale image. This is useful if your game has uh, some places. If your whole the outlook of the game is grunge or something like that. So I'm going to show you another one. So I'm going to create a new tree, uh, randomize the tree design. Okay, this will do. And if I want a blur effect, I just click on blur and randomize the tree again. Now, uh, now this this is useful for uh, several things. Like if you want to put it in the foreground or background, you uh, you like a blur image up there. This thing is useful for that. So that's the blur effect. And that's it. Now, if you go back, let's create some plants. I'm gonna delete this tree right here. Uh, let's go some create some plants. Generate a new plant. And again, the same thing. The blur effect is there. So if, if I don't want the blur effect, I'm gonna create none. And right now, it's set to autumn. I'm just gonna put it to random. And same thing with the, like the trees. You can just create as many plants as you want. And all these have been created. As you can see, that they're all quite unique from each other. Uh, of course, there are some few similarities like these two images are here. That's the autumn and that's the summer. But most of them have been combined using several sprites. I'll show you. So, uh, I'm sorry, I can't see it from here. But as you can see from here, the, the hierarchy menu, you can see there are three images here. So, three sprite sheets have been used to create this single image. I'm going to undo that. So uh, in that way, you can create uh, as many plants as you want. And same thing, if you click on Save Texture, you can save it to a single draw call. I'm going to go back, go to some create some rocks, generate a new rock. And see, even the rocks, some of these rocks designs uh, come in black and white, you know, grayscale by default. and. They can be useful for certain areas and all that. And of course, they are colored rocks. Uh, most of the rocks use the same system as the plants, and they can be exported in the same way using a, the safe texture. And the same thing with the effects. If you want a blurred effect, then the rocks will become blur. Okay, I'm gonna go back, and that's about it. That's as simple as that. You can create these trees, and with the if you have fur, you need fur 2D for this. But once you have installed fur 2D. You can just create a go to game object, create new fur to the terrain. I'm gonna create a decorative terrain, and from here you can select summer. And once you've selected that, terrain has been created. So, fur I like fur using fur to the because it's pretty simple to use, and everything has been set up by default. So you can set it up here and on. A tutorial on how to use fur to this there uh, on YouTube, so you can find that out. But this terrain works best uh, for this kind of artwork, so, so that's available as well. And oh yeah, I forgot. Supposing you are, you want to re-edit this tree, and since it has been exported to a single file, you can just click on Make Editable, and it'll change it back to color, and all the effects and everything will be gone and you can read it or customize the trees again okay so once that thing is ready you can supposing you, you don't like the roots design then you can click on random roots oh, i'm sorry the blur has been switched on you have to switch it off so you can customize the roots design or the leaves design again and change it to summer and this this button changes the entire tree this is for the leaves and that's for the roots. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed this plugin. And if you have any questions or queries, you can leave a comment below. And thank you.